Yeah, all eyes on the management commentary now. Sudarshan, thanks a lot for that. Over to Manisha Gupta now for our Commodity Con. Well, thank you for that. And my eyes are on gold and silver because we've seen very sharp corrections come in for that one. Joining me now to take that conversation further is Chirag Thakkar. He's director of Amrapali Group. Chirag, hi. Thank you for joining us. You know, it was 10 days ago that we were trading at a lakh rupees a kg. We are trading at 90,000 right now. So it has been 10,000 rupees per kg of a decline that we've seen in silver. The global markets as well have declined quite sharply. So from $35 to 31 being broken on the lower side as well. Overnight volatility has been to the tune of 5 to 6 percent. Uh, while, of course, the markets were long and perhaps overheated and correction was coming. But did you expect such a sharp, sharp decline that we saw overnight? So, yes, it was expected as uh, we saw a very major event uh, which took place last night uh, with the U.S. elections. At the same time, uh, if, if, if you look at, look, at, look at the current scenario since last one uh, uh, couple of weeks, we have been uh, seeing all the time highs coming in uh, our, our local currency. At the same time, if you see there was a consolidation mode, it was last to last week, we already started uh, swing, uh, uh, looking at the pullback in the gold and silver, both the prices. But at the same time, uh, I look at, look, if, if you look at today, we have a fair event in the, uh, in the later in the evening today, which is going to uh, be a very major factor for the precious metals for the next, uh, for the next month. Hmm. Chirag, how are you looking at the Indian buying now? Because at a 1 lakh rupees a kg, there was perhaps a bit of a decline there. But uh, we also have a b strong, very big wedding season coming across now in November, December. And that clearly gets stressed to Feb, March, April also perhaps. Are you looking at that buying coming in as prices have seen a decline? Yeah, so we have already seen a great uh, physical buying uh, into the uh, Indian markets uh, uh, when we witnessed our uh, uh, Diwali uh, season, which has gone really well. Down the line, whole value chain. If I talk to the jewelers, if I talk to anyone down the line on the value chain, everyone has been on a positive note, and uh, there is there has been a physical demand. But at the same time, uh, when this prices has corrected, uh, people are still looking to buy at this levels for the long term. At the same time, if you see, we are we are at a nice corrected level, and which can expect a nice pullback from here, and and that there, there is there is a there is a growth down the line a uh, couple of months. Hmm. Chirag, there are reports, I mean, as you mentioned, that Diwali quarter, the Diwali week, that is, has seen very strong buyings coming in, perhaps the best that we've seen in a decade or two. Would you allude to those numbers? So if you look at the numbers, there's no scrap coming into the market. Once, when, whenever, whenever we saw uh, uh, all-time highs uh, coming and hitting to the silver markets, we always see uh, a scrap uh, comes to the market and there is no as such of physical demand into the market. But if you see this season, we have not seen any scrap coming into the market. So there's a limited limited scope of a discount was there last week. But today when we speak, uh, we are at a demand. Physical market is, is is commanding a demand of 15 to 20 cents over and above the price of the of the of the global market. All right. So the Indian silver price is at a premium at this point in time. Chirag, if, if in sense of numbers, what is your sense on how this quarter could pan out in sense of overall demand for India 1? And what kind of total imports are you forecasting now for this year, calendar year 2024? So uh, I think if we are at the same price and uh, uh, as estimated, the uh, Fed's going to cut around 25 basis points. If that happens, there will be a pullback in the prices. Uh, and a major focus will be on the commentary uh, done by the Fed later in the evening today. That's going to decide the horizon. But at the same time, if you look at the physical demand for next two months, we, we could see 250, 300 tons of metal coming in next two months for the Indian imports. And looking down to the fiscal year, we'll surely be averaging around 6,500 6, to 7,000 tons of total imports uh, into our country. Hmm. And what's your sense also on the in, on the demand itself for this quarter now? Are, are you looking at 200, 300 tons imports that we're talking about? Do you see all of that getting consumed? Yes, that will be uh, that will be consumed because we see there's a huge gap, and this is like a pure opportunity. Who has been uh, tracking the silver prices? And I'm sure there are lots of institutional buyers coming in. There are lots of ETFs been gathering metal. So I think it's a very positive note for the silver, and we could see a physical demand for this quarter as well. Hmm. Chirag, what's your sense on prices then? Because a lot of people still maintain that going forward in the next year, 35, 40 could come back. A lakh rupees is now becoming a, 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 you know, an immediate resistance, but a level that we could see come back in the next year as well. How are you uh, forecasting, calculating your prices now for the first quarter of 2025? 
uh, I would I, I would see it touch again under under K mark, and uh, if it sustains there, we could see it uh, crossing thirty five dollars and maybe averaging it around thirty five to thirty seven dollars, and we could also see a all time high of forty dollars uh, into the market. Okay. All right, Chirag, thank you so much for sparing time and joining us this afternoon. Manisha, thanks a lot for that segment as well. But 